about maven like maven is very small tool actually we won't spend much time on this tool but uh, i'll give some overview about the maven tool first of all like what is the meaning of maven is uh, maven is a build tool uh, which is given by the apache software foundation so apache software foundation is an organization which is going to provide you the tool called maven okay it is a build tool what is the meaning of build means the process of adding the dependencies okay like uh, to explain this concept i'm going to take one real time example like daily our example all of you know here how to cook uh, chicken biryani can anyone tell me if you know the process of cooking chicken biryani like uh, the maven is going to be very very easy can anyone tell me of course you can raise your hand i can give unmute option for you nobody knows how to cook chicken here Okay, fine. Okay, summer, summer, you know, no? Okay, fine. Summer, I'm going to give one bit option for you. Ah, uh, okay. Summer, you can speak now. Yeah, uh, the recipe for chicken biryani is uh, mm -hmm. the first thing, you know, you need, you'll buy a chicken. Okay, buy okay, a chicken. Uh, okay. Which, you will cut into pieces okay washing and okay. pieces uh -huh. yeah wash it washing and pieces and then probably uh you will uh uh, uh, uh marinate with the masalas and okay, masala. okay. Uh -huh. okay. and finally and you are going to get your end product right biryani right okay it is and a normal probably, general uh, process right uh, so <clears throat> if you if you understand this concept now, like your Maven is going to be, sir, what you are talking, what is the similarity between Maven and chicken? Where means I'll tell you. Here chicken means Java code. What is chicken means here? Java code. So usually developers will write Java code, correct or not, sir? Like in real time, whenever we are uh, working on real time scenarios, uh, people like developer who is working on real time, they will prefer to write the Java code, but in that case, I cannot directly use Java code on real time. First of all, I want to compile the source code. What I want to do? Compile. Like washing and cutting into pieces. Next, here we need to add masala for our chicken. That means testing. Okay, testing. Then finally, our biryani is ready. Here also, finally, your artifact is ready. What is ready here? Artifact. Okay, so whenever you take this kind of example, right, it is very, very easy to remember. So if you want to cook the chicken biryani here, uh, let me give me one second. So whenever I want to cook the chicken biryani, first of all, I'll take the chicken as per, you know. So next of all, we will cut into pieces and we will wash it. And finally, we are going to add some masalas and ingredients. And finally, our biryani is ready. Okay. So same like when we are working on real time, first of all, developer will give the Java code, dot Java. Sir, in real time, we cannot use direct Java, dot Java code, sir. What we are going to do is we are going to compile the source code. Like how we wash and cut the chicken. After compiling the source code, we are going to test it. How the masala is going to add for chicken. Finally, doing all of these activities, we are going to get our application. Like this is called as artifact. Artifact is your final product, sir. When you take the chicken, your final product is biryani or not. Here also, when you take your dot Java code, your final code must be like your final output must be artifact. Artifact is what you are going to call it as your final product. What we are going to call artifact as final product, sir. Is it clear till now? That's it. So basically, Maven is a build tool. Uh, Maven is a build tool. Completely, it is going to do the build process that like adding dependencies for the source code, compiling the source code, like all of these things. So the main file in the Maven is pom.xml. Sir, what is the meaning of pom.xml? Means pom.xml will consist the entire information of the project. For example, for example, let's take the same biryani example here. Sir, whenever if you want to cook the biryani, for example, if you don't know, if you don't know how to cook the biryani, sir, what we are going to do? For example, you need to cook the chicken biryani. 
biryani i want to cook if i don't know how to cook first of all what i'll do i'll take a book and i'll read the recipe correct or not here also whenever you want to create an artifact artifact means your final product okay you need to have the palm.xml like this book will consist entire recipe to cook the biryani right here also this palm.xml will consist entire information to create the artifact here artifact means var file i'll explain what is the meaning of var file later don't worry okay if i want to cook the biryani if i don't know how to do it first of all i'll refer the book in this case if i want to create an artifact if i don't know how to create it i need to refer palm.xml palm.xml will consist entire end-to-end -end information of the project is the point clear for all of you so this palm.xml will consist entire information about the project so palm means here project object model and it is an xml format xml means extensible markup language okay xml we are going to call it as extensible markup language so what is the purpose of using this maven tool is to create the artifact i already said right artifact means your final product the meaning of artifact is your final product what are the example for artifact means var file char file as well as year file is it clear for all of you what are the examples for artifact can you please confirm your chat I would like to get response from all of you. What is the meaning of artifact means? It is a final product, like example, var, jar, and ear files. I'll explain this one by one later, don't worry. So the main purpose of using the Maven is, it is used to work with the Java-based products. For example, if I want to work with Java code, I need to use Maven only, okay? So the initial release of Maven, Maven came into the market on the 2004 July. And completely Maven is written on Java. That means if you want to work with Maven, I need to install Java. Sir. Without Java, we cannot able to work with Maven. Okay. If I want to work with Maven, we need to install Java. Which version of Java I want to install 1.8.0 only. So this is how it is going to work. So one more time, Maven is a build tool. Completely it is going to depend upon the palm.xml. Form means project object model, which is an XML format. It consists of the project entire information. So it is mainly used to create the artifacts. Maven is mainly used. Artifact means like var file, jar file, and year file. This I'm going to explain later. So mostly we use Maven for Java products. So it came into the market on the year 2004. And completely Maven is written on Java programming language. That is version 1.8.0. That means, sir, how it is going to work means i'll explain the scenario first of all in real time in real time developers are going to give the source code we all know this point when developer give the source code it will be rock source code only raw source code means only dot java source code sir in real time directly dot java source code is not going to work for example if i buy a chicken i want to make it biryani then only i can eat it sir so directly can i eat the raw chicken means it is not possible in real time also, whenever you want to deploy the application, first of all, they will give the raw code, which is .java, which we cannot use it on real time. For that purpose, what we are going to do is, if you take the chicken, first of all, you are going to wash it or not, sir. Like this, if I take .java code, I'm going to compile it. What I'm going to do is compile it. After washing the chicken, what you are going to do, you are going to add masala. So like that, I am going to convert this dot java file into dot class file so when i get the dot class file finally if i add masala i'll get the biryani here also finally i'll get the dot jar files okay like i'm explaining with our daily life activities only why because if you directly go to technical terms you will get nothing i know for that purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain one real time scenario and based upon the real time scenario i'm going to explain with the project so remember Initially, developers are going to give the dot Java code. What they are going to give dot Java code. Can you tell me, are we going to use this source code on real time, sir? Like I'm gonna give one minute option for you. Give me one second. I need to get response from you. Why? Because Maven is a small tool, but uh, seems a very difficult tool for you. Tell me, in real time, developers are going to give dot Java code. Can we use directly dot Java code? 
No, sir. No. Why we cannot use it, sir? Because this code is raw code, basic code only. We want to compile. What we want to do it? Compile. compile. After we compile the source code, what we are going to get, sir? Dot class. Dot class. So group of dot class files, I'm going to convert into jar file. For example, if I have group of dot class files, this group of dot class files, I'm going to convert into dot jar. Okay. So this jar file is what I call as my artifact. That is final product. What I call it as? Artifact. Artifact. Group of dot class files together is called as jar file. I'll explain this one by one. So please make some attention here while I'm explaining. First of all, I'm going to tell you about dot class. Dot class file means the files which can be executed. What is the meaning of dot class files? Files which can be executable. Files. Ah, files which can be executable. What is the meaning of jar file? You know, group of dot class files. In real time, dot jar files are going to work on backend sir. Wherever dot jar files are going to work? For backend. Back For backend. And second one is dot var file. What is the meaning of dot var file? You know, jar file Frontend. is only having the backend code. But var file is going to have both frontend code plus Backend code. So tell me, jar file has which code, front end code or back end code? Back end code. Back end code. Where file is going to have? Both front end and back end. Now tell me in real time, which thing you want to deploy? Where file or jar file you want to deploy? Where file. Definitely we need to create the where file. So that where file is what we call as artifact. What we are going to call it as? Artifact. Artifact. Artifact is nothing but it is your final product. Okay, so jar file means Java archive, var file means web archive or web application archive, here means enterprise archive. This is a full form actually. So we can call it as Java archive or you can call it as Java application archive, var file means web archive or web application archive and here means enterprise archive. So like that. Sir, now have you got the clarity? What is the meaning of jar file and var file? Yes, sir. Uh, what is the meaning of Java means dot Java is the basic raw code and dot yeah. class is the compiled source code. What is the raw code here? Dot Java. What is the compiled code here? Dot, dot, dot Java. Dot class. Okay. Dot class. So now in order to in order to implement this one, first of all, we need to create the setup. So, like I'll explain you how the setup is going to be. Guys, remember, Maven is very small tool actually. Only we need to understand the simple comments. If you understand these simple comments, your Maven is done. Okay, we can finish this class within one, one hour only. Why? Because it is not that much of big concept to cover. Okay. So in order to explain the architecture, first of all, I'm going to create an EC2 server. All of you know how to create EC2 server, right? So let's do it first. Yes. So let's connect with our mobile stuff. So first of all, here I create the easy to sir. Now what happened, you know, initially, who is going to write the source code? Developers. Where they will put the source code, sir, developers? Data. GitHub. GitHub. Correct or not? Yes. Oh. So here I have the GitHub. It is my GitHub already. So in my GitHub, I have one request. So are you seeing Jenkins Java product here? Yes. 
Uh, basically, it is the project where you are going to deploy the Netflix application. All of you know about Netflix application, right? In the yes. initial days of our demo, I have shown you Netflix application, correct or not? Yes. Uh, so here, what I'm going to do is, so in this repository, developers created the Netflix application. So I'm going to take the source code from here. Sir, if I want to take the source code from GitHub to my local, I need to install Guitar or not, sir? Yes. So first of all, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install few packages. Yum install. Git. And apart from Git, I'm on to installing Java. Why? Because Maven is working on which, which one? Java 1.8.0-open 1. 1. JDK. JDK. And I'm also installing Maven. Okay. So here, Git is to get the source code. Maven is to build the source code and Java is the dependency for Maven. It is your step number one. Sir, is your step number one clear or not, sir? Yes. Now in step number two, I'm using Git clone. Already we discussed. What is the purpose of using Git clone, sir? You can push okay, the source code. code. Git to... to get the source code, to get the repository from GitHub to Git. Actually, GitHub. My source code is on GitHub or not, sir? Yeah. Uh, from here, I want to get my source code. So in that case, I can use the command git clone okay. and that repository. Now, have I got the repository or not, sir? Yeah. Go to here and give ln. Are you seeing here pom.xml, no? Yeah. Seeing it or not, sir? Yes. Already I said in the starting of the class, what is the meaning of pom.xml? Project object model. Uh, what does pom.xml consist, sir? Pom.xml. Enter information of the project. project. Recipe. Like it is going to have the enter information of the project. Okay. So if we have the pom.xml only, then only we can be able to work. So if I have the pom.xml, it will have entire. Information project. Information project. Is it clear or not, sir? So if if you want me to show, if I go here, vim pom dot xml. Let me open this file. Sir, in this file, what is the name of the application here? Netflix. 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 Right. What is the packaging I'm doing? Var file or jar file? Var file. Var file. If I want to test the application. Are you seeing JUnit plugin here? Yep. What is the purpose of using JUnit for testing purpose? What is the version of JUnit plugin? 3.8.1. And after creating the var file, where I am going to store it, sir? On? Access repo. Access repo. Access repository. Where I am going to store it on? Access repo. Access repo, sir. Okay, so this is how it is going to work. Away. Okay, this is pom.xml is going to consist enter information of the project. Okay, sir, fine. And apart from this, let's try to install three as well. Why? Because if you try to install three, you will have the clarity. If I give three here, sir, first of all, in source folder, inside main, inside Java, inside Java home, my web control, are you seeing calculator.java, sir? Yeah. Is the name of the file? Of course, name of the file, you can put whatever you want. Okay. So here, name of the file, I'm putting is calculator.java. If you want to put netflix.java also, you can put netflix.java. Okay, fine. Sir, whenever developer is going to give the .java code, as per the architecture here, first of all, what we are going to do? Compile, compile the code. Compile, compile the, code. the code. If I compile it, what I'm going to get, sir? Dot class. Dot, dot class. class. From the dot class, what I can create? Dot, dot, jar. dot, jar. dot jar. Dot jar file is nothing but a backend code or not, sir? Works for backend yes. or not, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, but in real time, are we going to deploy jar file or var file? Var file. Uh, see here, the thing is very easy. If you compile, you are going to get jar file. Okay? Jar. If you give the command, if you give the command later, package. If you give the package, you are going to get the Right. Is it clear, sir? If you compile, you are going to get only jar file. But if you give package, it is going to create a 
variable. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now fine. Uh, here uh, to explain this scenario, first of all, you need to understand the architecture. So let me open the architecture in our Canva. Go to projects. Inside projects, you can see something called as Maven. Mm, where is the architecture? Yeah, here is the architecture, sir. Sir, initially, have you taken the source code from GitHub or not, sir? Have you taken the source code from GitHub here? Yeah. So I have taken the source code from the GitHub. So when I take the source code, do I have pom.xml here? What does pom.xml have? All information of the project. project. All and information I regarding the entire information of project. Ah. So now exactly what is going to happen is when you are going to have every information of the project, for example, if I want to compile the source code, I need to pass the goal. What I need to pass? Pass the goal. Goals. Ah. So what is the meaning of goal means? Goal means very easy here. So if you want me to explain the goal in easiest format, goals are nothing but simple Maven comments. Here I already wrote here very clearly. Goal is nothing but simple Maven command used to perform the task. So for example, I want to test the source code. So I need to give the Maven goal. What I want to give? I have to give the Maven code. So I want to test the source code. Again, I want to give the Maven goal. I want to create the jar file or even I want to create the var file. What I want to give there, sir? What I want to give there? No. Completely, we want to give goals are not there. Yes. Exactly. So remember, whatever work you want to do with the help of Maven, everything we want to give the goals only. If you give the goal, goal is directly going to do the work for the Maven. Is the point clear for you? What is the meaning of goal now? Yes, sir. So tell me what is the goal simply in simple words? Commands used to perform task. Hmm, good. So goal is nothing but it's a command which is used to perform the task. Correct or not, sir? Yes. Fine. So and one more thing is plugin. What is the meaning of plugin? Can anyone anyone tell me? Small extensions. Yeah. For example, sir, if you want to work with the testing tool, but you don't know, like you, you don't have testing tool to test the application. In that case, no need to install testing tool. So directly we can use the plugin. What we can use? Directly we can use plugins. Plugin. For example, I want to work with Docker. I don't want to install Docker, sir, but directly I can use Docker plugin. What I can use? Plugin, plugin means without installing the tool, we can able to work with it. Sir. Plugin means what? Without installing the tool, we can able to work. work. So that is what you call as meaning of plugin. Is that clear, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So now you got the understanding about uh, both the meaning of plugin and both the meaning of code. So plugin means it's a small software basically which automates our work. And uh, with the help of plugins, we can directly use the tools without installing. For example, already I say to test the application, we are going to use JUnit plugin. Basically, it's a tool 
which is used to test the application. But here, sir, I don't install the JUnit tool, but I'll directly use the plugin of JUnit. What I'll directly use here? Plugin. Plugin. That's it. So now, how the Maven architecture is going to work means it is very clear. So whenever you execute some goal, this goal is directly referred to the Maven form.xml. Okay. For example, sir, source code I have taken from the GitHub. From the GitHub, for example, I want to test the source code or I want to compile the source code. First of all, I need to execute a goal. This goal is referring to whom, sir, now? Palm.xml. Um, now, palm.xml will check on our local repository. Do we have plugin or not? For example, if I want to compile it, it will check for compiler plugin. If it find the compiler plugin on local, it will directly compile the source code. But, sir, if it don't find the compiler plugin, it is going for the central repo. From the central repo, you can take the plugins to local. Correct or not, sir? Just try to understand the architecture. First, actually, this architecture is not that much of really important. But why I am teaching is to give you the in-depth knowledge. First of all, point number one is developer one take the source code to the local workspace. After taking the source code, if they want to do compiling or if they want to do testing, what they want to give, sir? Goal. goal. What is the meaning of goal? Task. task. If we want to perform any task, we need to give goal and map. And this goal is referring to which one now? Form.xml. What is form.xml? Executor tool. Form.xml, which consists information about the project. Again, thought I'm telling. First of all, developer takes source code to the GitHub. After taking the source code, if you want to perform any action, you want to use the goal. This goal is referring to which one, sir? Form.xml. Now, form.xml will check for the plugins. For example, if, if the user want to compile the source code, it will check the compiler plugin. Okay? If user want to test the source code, it is going to check for the testing plugins like that. If it is founding on the local repository, it's okay. But the compiler is not on local repository. It is going for the remote central remote, remote repository. Sir, in remote repository, we have plugins for each and everything or not, sir? We will get our work. Yeah. This is how Maven is going to work. So now let's try to test the source code and compile the source code. First of all, if I want to compile the source code, I will give the command mvn compile. So this goal, that is called as goal. This goal is going to compile the source code. If you see here, mvn compile is to compile the source code. To compile the source code. So give the command mvn compile. First of all, it is checking on local. There is no plugins or local. Sir, is it downloading from internet or not, sir? Yes. What repository? So practically, I'm showing you whatever the architecture I have explained theoretically, it is showing practically now. Sir, am I compiling my source code or not, sir, here? Yes. Are you seeing your source code is compiled now? Whenever your source code is compiled, dot Java is becoming dot class or not, sir? Are you seeing this? Yes. Initially, initially you have initially you have only dot Java file on source folder, but a new folder is created. Just now, new folder is created. That is target folder. So when you give the MVN compile, dot Java is going to compile to dot class or not, sir? As per the diagram. If you want me to show here what I said here very clearly. Whenever we have dot Java, it is going to be compiled. After compiling, it is going to create as dot, dot class. Have I shown it lively for you? How it is going to work as dot class file? Yeah. What is the meaning of dot class file? The files which can be executable. Executable. Okay. Then those kind of files we are going to call it as it dot class file. Dot class. Now try to give you and test. Sir, here I am performing the goal, sir. Here I am performing the goal. This goal is directly referring which file now? Form.xml. Do you have form.xml here? Yeah. Here. Yeah. So it is going for form.xml. If the plugins are there, it is going to directly execute. But if plugins are not there, it is going for remote. 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 Central remote. Sir, do you have plugins now for testing initially? 
No. But is it taking or not from internet? Is it downloading plugins? Yes. That means now have you got the clarity about MVN architecture, no Maven architecture? Sir, is my testing uh, performance successfully? Do I got any failures sir, here? Do I got mm. any errors and warnings here? No. 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 Then again, if you give MVN test now, sir, now <coughs> tell me one thing. First time it is taking a lot of time, sir. Why? Because I don't have plugins. But second time, plugins, do I have on my local repository or not, sir? Mm, yeah. Yes. So. Then are these plugins going to download one more time? No. 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 See, it will be. It is going to done within uh, fraction of seconds now. Done very speedily now. Yes. When you compare with first time, first time it is going to download all the plugins. But second time is it downloading the plugins are here? Mm -hmm. No. Why it is not downloading? It's already no. existing. It's yeah. already existing on my local repository. Local. Right? First of all, it will take repository from central repo. Once the plugins are storing on local repo, again, directly we no need to go for remote repo. Directly I can execute from local repo. Good. Like that. So now if you give that tree. Sir, previously you have only one dot class file, sir. How many classes you have one? Only one. But are you seeing second dot class file now? Mm, yes. Yes. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack it. So the meaning of package means I already said, right? So... Basically, if we have dot class file, then can we create jar file when we have only backend code? Sir, with the help of backend code, do you have frontend code or not, sir? No? Yes. Yes. That means if I give MVN package, what I'll get now? Where? Not where. Where file. Again, I give the goal. Do you have plugins to create the where file now? Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Creating where file, do you have plugins? No, no. If I don't have what is going to do, refer the form.xml, form.xml is going to refer to local. Local, local there is no plugin, sir. Is it downloading the plugins or not, sir? From remote. Okay. Yeah. If you go and see, you know, give the tree command, no? If you give tree command, everything will come in a order. Sir, are you seeing your Netflix application, no? Netflix verify. Are you seeing it or not, sir? Yes. This yes. var file, this var file we are going to deploy in real time. Basically, what you need to understand is in real time, we need to deploy the var file. But the deployment process you are going to see on Jenkins, don't worry about no. As of now, I have shown you how to generate a var file. What is the command to give the var file, sir? Tell me the direct command. Yeah. See here, what I have given, what is your last command? MVN? Package. package. So this is going to create the artifact on your project directory. But sir, artifact we need to put on our local folder. Like local. Your Pavan local folder is dot m2. Remember, it is an interview question. Someone will ask you, what is the home path for Maven? What is the home path for Maven? Can anyone tell me? Dot m2. If you give the command MVN install, now this var file is directly going to generate on your dot m2 folder also. Is it done or not sir? No. Now if you want me to show cd in root folder, here you can see the path. It is the path. You need to directly copy paste this path. In root dot m2 folder, tell me the path. Next. Repository. Repository. IN. IN. Raham. N Netflix. 1.2.2. Just go here and give LN. Sir, are you seeing my var file or not, sir? Now here? Yes, sir. Sir, why I am giving the var file here as well? For example, unfortunately, if I delete var file in my project home directory, I can have backup or not, sir, here. I can have backup or not. Yes. For that purpose. Now give CD hyphen. If you give CD hyphen directly, it will go to your previous folder. So currently I'm on previous folder. So first of all, I'm going to tell you one more time. 
MVN compile is to compile the source code. MVN test is to test the source code. MVN package is to create the artifact. MVN install also to create the artifact. But what is the difference between package and install, sir? Package, it creates a artifact. Sorry? Package is to get the Package is to file. create param home directory, like project directory. Correct. Perform the entire goals. Basically, I already said you Maven have the life cycle. Life cycle means, for example, if you give MVN package before package testing and compiling, is there or not, sir? Yes, sir. Those both are going to perform automatically. And if I give MVN test, what is before MVN test? Compile. 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 If I directly give test, compile is going to perform. If I give MVN clean package, all of the above actions are going to perform. If you want me to show MVN clean package. This is what you are going to give in real time. In real time, we don't give all of them, sir. We will give only the single command. Is it done, sir? No? That's it. So lastly, the command is MVN clean command. MVN clean command is going to delete the target folder. Currently, we are having target folder, but if I give this one, target folder is going to remove. Sir. If we go and give LN, sir, is the target folder gone or not, sir? Yes. So if I give directly MVN clean package again, so remember in direct in real, real time, we don't need to give MVN compile cache and everything. Directly if I give MVN clean package, every action will be performed, sir. Yes. Are you seeing the target is there? And are you seeing the var file is there? No? Netflix var file. Yes. So now tell me in real time how many comments we are going to perform? Single comment or multiple comments? Single comment. What is a single comment? MVN clean package. But why I have to teach all of them is for your clarity only. Okay. So we need to give only MVN clean package. Yes. That's it. So now is the Maven goes clear for all of you? Yes. Everyone. <clears throat> so you can explain once again, sir. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to explain what is the meaning of Maven goal. What is the meaning of goal? Can anyone tell me? To perform entire task. Uh, so Maven has a lot of the goals. In the first one, MVN compile. What is the purpose of using MVN compile? To compile the code. So to code. test the code. Which, which goal you are to going to give? To MVN test. Yeah. And to create a bar file. Which goal you are going to give, sir? MVN package. MVN package. MVN package. package. And what is the command that is going to copy the var file to your Maven home path? MVN install. install. MVN install. install. And what is the purpose of using MVN clean package, sir? Entire to delete uh, to perform an entire task. To perform single command about a exactly. compile test. If you package. want to perform entire life cycle, you can give MVN clean package commands. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And finally, MVN clean means it is going to delete the target folder. Simply artifact is going to delete. Like simply, I can go to target folder. So, That's sir, it. MVN clean package is it a uh, uh, step for uh, for all these four uh, MVN compile test package and so on? 
And finally, Maven has plugins or not, sir? Yes. yes. But Ant doesn't have plugins. And Maven doesn't have script to run, but Ant will have script to run, sir. These are the five major comparisons. Of course, there are a lot of comparisons I have given on your PDF, but no need to remember all of these uh, like comparisons. Only this one is enough. Again, one more time I'm teaching you. For Maven, we have pom.xml. And we have? Build.xml. Maven has life cycle and doesn't have life cycle. Maven is procedural. That means everything is going to perform automatically. But and is declarative. Maven has plugins, but and doesn't have plugins. Maven doesn't have scripts, sir. But and will have script. So now you can ask me, sir, if we don't have Maven, what is going to happen? You know, first of all, we cannot create the jar files and var files. Problems without Maven means if I don't have Maven, what is going to happen is I cannot create the jar artifacts. Artifacts. Artifact means both jar and var. Right. Sir, if I don't have artifact, can I deploy the application, sir? No. No. Second thing is, second problem is we cannot create the project structure. Project structure means, sir, in real time, all the front end code will be on one folder, all the back end code will be on one folder. For example, index.html is on back end folder, sir. Is my application going to work? Is my application going to work, sir? No. No. Why? Because all the front end files need to be on one place. But unfortunately, one front end file called HTML, index.html, is not on the preferred location. So if we don't have Maven, we cannot arrange this easily. So Maven is going to help you to create the project structure as well. Third one, building is not possible. Sir, without building the artifact, can we deploy the artifact, sir, in our real time? Is it possible even? No. So these are the main problems without Maven. If you don't have Maven, you cannot create the jar files, you cannot create the project structure, and you cannot deploy the application. So this is the Java structure. So whenever you are going to work with Java, right? So first of all, we need to generate source code, testing the source code, creating the project structure, adding the libraries, configuration, everything you are going to do here. Basically, this is not enough. Like this is not required actually, but I'm telling for your knowledge only. Guys, trust me, in real time, you don't need to learn all of this for Maven. In Jenkins, simply you are going to give MVN clean package that is going to do entire activity. But why I am teaching for in this much of in-depth is for your knowledge only. Okay. So now this will be enough for Maven. Simply only one thing I'll tell you is Maven is to create artifact. Like I'll tell you only two points about Maven. Maven main purpose is to create the What are the artifacts we have? Jar and Jar file. Jar file. Year file. Jar file work for? Printed. Backend. No, no. Jar jar file. Backend. 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 Jar file. Front end. Both. Back back that means in real time, you want to deploy jar file or var file, sir? Var file. Var file. To create the var files only, we use Maven. And that is also, I'm going to show you automation in the help of Jenkins. In Jenkins, I'm going to show you how to automate this file creation. 
and one of the important point to remember is sir pom.xml is on my this folder sir for example i'm coming out of the folder and if i give mvn clean this goal will not execute why it is going to fail you know whenever i execute the goals it is going to work but in my current directory do i have pom.xml sir here in my current folder in my current folder do i have pom.xml no pom.xml is in my jenkins java project in this folder if i give mvn clean now is it working or not sir no still yes, work yes why it is working means when you are executing goals please make sure that if there is pom.xml on your folder then only goals will execute sir otherwise goals will not execute is that point clear for all of you yes sir so it is one of the error like i am going to tell you troubleshooting for example if the build is failure first of all we need to check the pom.xml is there or not and sometimes java version is also going to be main reason for example if you see mvn hyphen version sir currently maven having java 1.8.0 or not sir yes so what i am doing is i am removing the m remove this is not required for you i am telling for your troubleshooting techniques only no need to worry about this m remove maven i am uninstalling maven sir Please. I and I install Maven. Sir, previously for Maven, 1.8.0 version is there, sir. But for now, Maven, which version of Java is there again? Hmm? Which version of Java is for Maven? 2.8.0 let, uh, let me remove both now let me remove both now we am remove uh, maven and java java also i am removing sir like i install one more time the reason why i am doing all of this is for your troubleshooting only i am installing maven now yes from that is the yes come on yes come on sir now this time this time maven is getting which version tell me java 17 version are you seeing java 17 is downloading now hmm. I'm getting some background noise from like some of the people. Like I'm doing some uh, troubleshooting for you. Like this is not required even not on syllabus. But the reason I'm teaching you is for your real-time work only. Sir, currently what is the version of Java for Maven? 17. Sir, is 17 going to support, sir? No. Oh. If I try to give MVN compile, what is going to happen now? Error. Build will fail. What happens, sir? We'll get Build error. fail you, sir. Why it is failed? Java does not support the version. Java, Java is not, not support. Version is different. Mm -hmm. So if you see, first of all, what happened if the build fails? First of all, we need to check the Java version. Is it troubleshooting technique one or not, sir? Yes, sir. What is the second troubleshooting step? We need to check the pom.xml. If pom.xml is not there, again, we are going to get error or not, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, and the third thing is check the source code. For example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete source code. Sir, if I do some mistake on source code, again, I'm going to get the error or not, sir. I'll get the error or not. Yes, sir. So these are the troubleshooting techniques you need to understand. Why? Because you are going with experience. A lot of people are going with experience, right? Especially for you guys only, I'm teaching this all of these techniques. No one is going to teach troubleshooting. But here, why I'm teaching troubleshooting is I want everyone to get at least three years of knowledge here. Okay. So if I tell the class and if I directly complete the class, if you get error, who are going to ask, sir? Like who is going to help you in the real time? Am I going to come to your real time? While you are learning subject here, if you get any, any error, you need to resolve here only. So that is how the subject learning is going to you. Okay. For that purpose only. I have to teach all of the troubleshooting techniques. Is it clear for you now? Yes, sir. So now this is about the Maven. So now in the part of Maven, any doubts or queries you are having, you can ask me now. Uh, yes, sir. Like uh, I have one query. Like yeah, uh, apart from Java, can we use other programming language in Maven? Of course, you can uh, do it with Python as well. But remember, like I'll tell you, for example, if you are using, like let me show it here. I'll tell you what are the tools we need to use for a uh, different kind of programming language. If you are using C and C++, 
to build the source code, you need to use make file for C and C++. If you are using Java, I said Maven, you can use and you can use Gradle also you can use. If you are using Python, we need to prefer Gradle. If you are using .NET applications, we need to use Visual Code. You know, you know Visual Studio, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So depending upon the type of the programming language, you are currently whatever the uh, tools you are using, those tools are also going to change. Sir. Clear? Uh, yeah. So this build tool is going to change as per the time changes. Like for example, if I uh, use .NET, I need to use a Visual Studio for it. If I use Java, I need to use Maven for it. So like this, it is going to get it. So now here I'm going to create a new file. Uh, that is the Maven. It is your tool number two. The notes and history, I'm going to give it completely for you. Practice is, guys, remember it is very small tool only. So that's the reason I am uh, completing this early. Okay. We don't have anything to cover on Maven. So from tomorrow onwards, freshly, I'm going to start. Jenkins file. What we are going to start? Jenkins. Jenkins. So Jenkins is going to be very, very interesting. I said it already. This uh, Maven and this uh, Git, both are developer point of view tools. As a DevOps engineer, we need to have some minimal idea about it. But the tools which is starting from the tomorrow onwards, that is Jenkins. It is going to be very, very interesting. Okay. So till now, the boring part of DevOps is done. So from tomorrow onwards, you are going to see the new flavor of DevOps. Clear? Yes, sir. And uh, Nayak, basically, uh, videos is going to be uploaded by the admin team. I don't have access to upload the videos. Please contact them. So PDF I have already given cash already. If you open Google Classroom, every PDF I have given. One doubt, sir, here. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. So here with Maven, uh, we only go with Java or with uh, Python also we can do Mostly we will uh, prefer Java, but if you want to use Python, of course, Python we can use, but I won't prefer. Why? Because uh, Python has the greatest compatible with Gradle. So Gradle is one of the tools. It's in the Gradle tool. Uh, so you can use like a uh, Gradle for Python. Of course, with the help of Gradle, we can build a Java as well. If you see here, this using the packaging, testing and deployment of Supporting language like Java. Are you seeing Java here? So you can use Gradle and Maven for Java. Of course, for Python also, you can use uh, Maven as well as you can use uh, what we call this one, Python as well. But a majority of the people will prefer Maven only, if you ask me. So this file already I have given on your GitHub. You can take it from your GitHub. So for Java, Maven, and Gradle, and uh, uh, preferable is uh, Maven, right, sir? Sorry, 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 not not like that. So if you want to test, uh, if you want to build your application, Python or Java application, you can use a uh, Maven or Gradle. Both you can use. Depends upon your choice. Okay. So still any doubts or any queries from your end? Of course, guys, like I'm telling, this is going to be a pretty, little bit difficult for you to understand, but don't worry. If you practice one or two times, it is going to be very easy. But the topics, whatever learning from tomorrow class is going to be very, very fun. Actually, like I won't teach uh, like, like these classes. Whatever the stuff you are going to learn from tomorrow, the class are going to be very, very fun. As well as, well. as well. 